it's unfortunate that uh, Siku moja tu baada ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuvunja kimya chake kuhusu uamuzi wa mahakama ya rufaa na kumtaka naibu wake William Ruto kujiuzuli wapo aridhishwe na serikali ya jubilee Ruto amesema kamwe habanduki Akizungumza katika kaunti za Kwale na Tana River Ruto amesema harudi nyuma The honorable thing that leaders do is to say I disagree with the policies of this government and therefore I wish to disassociate myself from them and tender your resignation I wish this is what people would also do And for those who have a problem I want to ask them for forgiveness and I want to tell them I am a man on a mission I have no space to retreat and I don't have the luxury to surrender. Ukuraisu Kenyatta akionekana kuzungumzia ugeugeu wa akiwa ndani na nungunika na akiwa nje anapiga kelele. Ruto amejibu kuwa kusema angaliko mpaka atimize wajibu wake wa kuhudumia wa Kenya. And it would be really the honorable thing that if you are not happy with it, huh, that you would actually, you know, uh, step aside and allow those who want to move on move on and then take your agenda to the people which is what happens in any normal you know democracy because you can't have your cake uh, <laughs> and, and 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 eat it Kenya cannot be a preserve for leaders and what they want and what they can get I am asking them to understand that i am a person on a mission i cannot retreat i cannot surrender because we have decided that we are going to change the economy and we are going to have a bottom up economic experience in kenya wawili hao vile vile wametofautiana kuhusiana na mswada wa marekebisho katiba kupitia BBI The courts have ruled the way they have ruled and I believe that uh, they have been highly misguided in that process and fortunately we have had politicians I can say for short term political gains who have deviated from why we wanted the BBI to it being an issue of competition I don't know why because all of these people I mean they, they, I was hearing some people say that this BBI is to propel Raila Odinga Raila Odinga declared his presidency with or without BBI and he's still on the ticket BBI has nothing to do with his candidacy BBI has nothing to do with Uhuru wanting to continue because there is no clause in BBI that says that the incumbent president is going to continue for another 10 years how will you account that the BBI was suggesting that we have a president who controls the legislature through appointment of members of parliament into the executive and controls the judiciary using the ombudsman we would have an imperial presidency mwanasheria mkuu Paul Kihara amesema atenda katika mahakama ya juu kupinga uamuzi kutupilia mbali BBI uliotolewa Ijumaa iliyopita Angela Cherur K24 Samoja